All right, so this is going to be a really quick um, step through my workflow to annotate articles. The first thing I do on the iPad to get my articles so I can annotate them using my stylus on my iPad is I find the article on the Texas Tech Library, and then I open it up in whatever database, and then I do the download PDF option, and that will open the PDF in um, a new tab. Once I get it in a new tab, I'm going to go through and I export it to GoodNotes. Uh, there's other softwares that will do this, but I like GoodNotes because I know it works. Um, and then I'm just going to put it on categorized because then I'll be able to find it. So once I get it imported, then I'm just going to go ahead and open it. And GoodNotes lets you go ahead and do things like highlight. So um, like this one, I know it's an article that uses feminist critique, blah, 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 blah. So you can highlight and then you can annotate on the side. Uh, GoodNotes does have this little window. Most, most note-taking apps actually have this. So you can leave notes for yourself where you write like a kindergartner, um, but it actually looks neat. Uh, and these are searchable. So like if you go in later and you search for gender, um, it, it'll highlight what you write. So from there, once you get it all annotated, you go in and you export it and you want to export all pages and as a PDF. And you want to make sure that this export annotations is turned on because if it's not, you'll lose all your annotations. And then you go to external apps and you export it to paper ship. Uh, if you're using Mendeley, you can export it directly to Mendeley. Um, but I'm not using Mendeley. So you export it to paper ship and paper ship will go ahead and scan it. It reads the metadata that's encoded in most of the PDFs. I have found a couple of the database um, servers that don't actually save the metadata. So like one out of like every 10 or 11 PDFs I download, I actually have to go in and type in this information. And then you just import it. And depending on how many annotations you have and how long the article is, and how slow your Wi-Fi is, it will take a while. And then it's there and you can see the annotations are there. Um, and I think might be able to actually search the annot yeah see you can search the annotations in here sometimes when i search them they en end up getting covered by the the search thing so that'll just export it directly to your zotero so if you're running zotero on your laptop or your desktop or mendeley on your laptop or your desktop it automatically syncs it so then if you want to go ahead and put it in a folder you just go find your folder whatever folder structure you have set up on your Zotero or Mendeley and it puts it there. So when I go and I look on my computer, it'll just be there now. Um, there's also an option. You can type this little note thing. So that first, um, actually it was that second week we had the, uh, article, the blog post on how to like get ready for your dissertation and keep a list of your citations and everything. And so I've been typing like two sentences about, um, what was the basic theme of the article? What do I think it would be useful for later and whether or not I hated it? Um, and so I've just been typing that into that little block right there. And it, it's the full thing is searchable. So it's pretty cool. Um, so hopefully that helps y'all.